Now let's get started with building uh, our new venture. The first thing is we have to focus on the customer. The single necessary and sufficient condition is a, is a, uh, is a paying customer. We're not going to start with the technology or the product, even though that's what you want to tell us about right now. You have to put that in the, we kind of know what that is, but now what we're going to look at and we're going to say, who cares about this? Who are the many different customers that we could do? And so what market segmentation is, is about inverting the process and stop looking at this opportunity through what we want out of it, but rather invert it and now say, what does the customer want out of it? We're changing our view of the world. Now we're getting a customer perspective. So that's critically important. The second thing in this market segmentation is we're going to look at the different customers that we could have and we're going to lay out as many as we can. And then we'll see in the next step, we're going to choose one. But right now we're just concerned with making as broad a, a, a list of potential customers who might be interested in our technology or an idea. So let's take an, a, a brief example of that that I think everyone can understand is, let's say the idea is I want to make grading e easier for teachers. Well that sounds like a very simple idea, it sounds very specific. But when we segment it down, we say what type of teacher would this be? So we would, in, in this case, we would draw a you know, market segmentation matrix and we would say who are the different types of potential customers? Is it K, K, K through 12 or is it K through 6? It's much different if it's kindergarten through 6th grade and then it's different in the middle school and then the high school. Or is it grading for the college level? Or is it grading for science, which is different than grading for English? Or now within the other segmentations we could look at, is it private school? Is it public school? Is it an urban environment? Is it a suburban environment? Is it a, far, is it a rural environment? Is it a homeschooled environment? All these different types of segments we would lay out in the matrix and then we would say these are all the different potential markets. And in this case, each of them will look slightly different. If they don't, then we can collapse them together. But we're going to find out is each of the users has different, um, different requirements that need to be met. This is what we call market segmentation, laying out the many different market opportunities and then thinking about it broadly. Why do we do this? Again, to invert the process to think back and start saying, we're going to think of the customer back as opposed to forcing it. But also internally for us, it allows everyone to say who they think the potential markets are and gives everyone on the team an opportunity to say, here's what I was thinking about. So now as we move forward, we know what everybody thinks, and now we're going to start choosing which one we're going to focus on, which we'll do in the next step. But this builds consensus amongst the team, and having your team aligned, and having your team being close, and everybody believing in the mission is very, very important. So we really need to let everybody have their say, and then as we move forward, we're going to you know, consolidate that and get strong alignment behind one market. That's market segmentation, how we're going to get started, step one.